it's Pluto and I'm bored and I just had a random uh, urge to make a video but I don't know what to do. So far the videos that I make about trying to educate people about autism don't get very popular but the one most popular video that I have is called Watch Me Fail or that's the beginning of the title which I find expresses my life very much and so we're gonna do another Watch Me Fail. I like little coffin boxes and I already have three of them so there's no there's absolutely no reason for me to have another one of them, but I've had this since, like, last October or something because that's the only time they're in Michael's and I collect them whenever they're there. And I decided to paint it right now because I have nothing better to do. Well, I have many better things to do. I have probably a lot of things that I should do. But I'm going to do this instead, and I'm going to do it with you guys and uh, the eight people that are subscribed. Thank you. <gasps> I'm forgetting something. Much better. Now the reason I'm wearing a lab coat is because technically pre-med, which just means that I'm not in medical school yet, but I'm going to be later. And I actually own more lab coats than I would care to admit. And I like to wear them out just because uh, it reminds me about the, what I want to achieve in life. I didn't know how dirty white gets so easily. And I have no regrets about only wearing black for the majority of my life. Yes, I open my closet and I can't tell what's in it. Yes, every time I open a drawer, everything looks the same and it's just a game of, let's pick this up, what is it gonna be, who knows? But I don't know how to wear white, except uh, I like to wear a lab coat, so that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, I'm realizing this is probably a bad idea because I'm gonna be painting, but we're gonna go with it anyways because I've got like five more. So. Let's get started. I'm bad at starting things. I uh, am aware that I'm going to be using these wrong during this video, but that's fine. I've decided that I'm not going to mix much with water because I don't feel like dealing with all that. I forgot the palette thing. I have to get up. I'm not a person that should get up. I'm not a person that enjoys getting up. To be perfectly honest, it's safe for everybody if I just never left my bed. Hi, got the palette. Looks like I paint a lot and I try, but I'm bad at it. Crap, this isn't my shirt. And nobody wants to see me change, trust me. We're back again, this time with a cat. Say hi, May. Hi, May. I'm gonna bring you guys over to see the adorableness. May. Hi, May. This is my support animal. She actually keeps me from doing a lot of stupid shit. Hi, May. You love me, May. Right, May? Right? Back again. Maybe we can actually start now. Okay, so paints. <sighs> Waste a lot less paint if you mix acrylic with water. You're supposed to do that. I didn't know that for years. <laughs> and I was just buying a lot of acrylic paint and I spent way too much money when I was younger on acrylic paint because I didn't know you were supposed to mix it with water. And then my friend told me and then I was like, ooh. <sighs> save me so much money but you live and learn and a watercolor maybe we'll stick to acrylics is this acrylic these are acrylics so what color should we make this coffin because I have other coffins I want to show you the coffins back again okay so this was one of the one other ones I painted just realized I didn't paint the back <laughs> and it says uh, from one of my favorite books which is actually right over here okay this is one of my favorite books of all time it's called the great and terrible beauty by uh libba bray and it uh changed my life and i love the character Ugh, i spilled all my paint brushes what am i doing with my life why am i showing this to people okay yeah and this is a quote from inside the book and it is people always think they can own beautiful things Read the book 
Uh, I recommend it. It's really nice. I did squiggly lines because I didn't know what to design. And what I keep inside of it is uh, all my earrings and stuff because I have 10 hundred thousand piercings. And then we have this one. This was one of the first coffins that I painted. I've had these for like years. I did paint the back of it. Um, yeah, it's just mediocre. What, what, what's in here? Oh, oh, okay. So I keep, um, picks. Guitar picks. Maybe instead we should do a canvas piece of art with guitar picks. Another art piece for another day. And then we have this one, which I did with my friend. I don't know if she's okay with me mentioning her name, but her name's Winter. Hi, Winter. Uh, I don't know, probably won't watch this, but yeah, we, when we were younger, like 13 or 14 or something, and we like to do things like buy a 10 pack of uh, chicken, dead chicken keychains, which I still have, and uh, make playing cards into a uh, string decor and do absolutely random things for no reason whatsoever. But it was really fun, and I appreciate you, Winter. Uh, you were one of the few people that didn't mind listening to me ramble and didn't think it was weird that the first time I invited you over, I made you take a personality test. She thought it was really cool that I just did claw marks to make it look creepier, and originally it didn't have this. And then one night when I was uh, later, like a year later, I, I don't know, but um, I was in my room and I just decided, you know what would be really cool is if I just threw an eye on it. And I thought that this was one of the best art pieces I had ever done. What's in here? Nothing's in here. Also, other story. See this part? This had like um, one of those little audio things, like when you open it, it starts screaming and stuff. And being autistic, I hate noise, loud noises and I didn't like it. And this is probably showing the part, early signs of me being a sociopath, but she was over and again, thank you Winter for not being really scared and like running out of my house when I took a knife and I just started stabbing the living shit out of it to make it stop. Back to the paint table. Oh wait, this is the watercolor box. Why am I using the watercolor box? I don't need this. Maybe I can put you guys on it. Stay, stay, you can stay. It's staying. Yay. Okay. So these are the acrylics. Let's see what colors we have. Raw umber. Lemon yellow. Vermilion. Why is this called vermilion? It could just be called orange. Why are you trying to be fancy when you're not? Burnt sienna. I like that color. It sounds nice. It, to me, that sounds like Nevada. And by that, I mean it sounds like when I, I've driven through Nevada and it, it makes it, it's, it sounds like what Nevada looks like, like the desert to make it look prettier than it is when actually the drive is a living hell. But anyways, next one. Cobalt Blue uh, Viridian. Another one that's trying to be bougie when it's not. It's just green. Hooker's green? We have a paint that is hooker's green, all right? The color scheme is now greens because I want to use hooker green. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? Okay, so we have hooker's green. We're gonna use the whole bitch for making this. And then we have a yellow ochre, oh, ochre, oh, ochre, whatever. I'm gonna rename all of these, okay. We have Scared of Commitment Magenta. Hooker's Green, I'm gonna just keep its original name. Mars Black, I disagree with this because it's not black. So, like Mars isn't black, so I don't, Space Black, what, what? I have some black roses, what's black? Black is just all the colors, so I, I don't know, maybe we won't rename everything. Million Red is gonna be Dumbass Red. And we have Windsor Violet. Windsor is the company, so this is Violet. So we're gonna call it Violent, because that's how I always read it in my head. This one is Patholo, Patholo Green. <laughs> this reminds me of the name of some sort of Greek philosopher, so we're gonna call this Socrates. Okay, let's start out with the cover. Let's see, what is what does the hooker green look like?
like a blackish green. It probably looks black in the camera. That's really boring. I'm wasting so much paint, but you know what? This is fun. This is actually really relaxing. I miss painting. I stopped painting because I'm really not good at it. I'm more of a writer than a painter. I've actually written some songs lately about, mostly about people that randomly are, that are no longer in my life. And I'm honestly really glad it's very refreshing. Okay, now we're using Socrates green or Play-Doh green. It looks kind of the same. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Just, just one, just give me a moment. It's, the pro you know, art is a process that I'm not particularly skilled in, but. Okay, this is what we've got going so far. Some shades of green. I'm liking it. I think we're, we should incorporate some of the um, dumbass blue now to add in an easier transition to the uh, Scared of Commitment magenta. And I just like blue. Is the blue, I don't know if it really shows, but it kind of, it matches kind of the shade of my hair. Violent now, time for violent. There's a little bit of violent. And now, time for Scared of Commitment. Commitment complexes, general commitment issues, <laughs> however you want to freeze it. Magenta! It looks really pink. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, I'm mixing a bit of the, um, I mixed a bit of the violent in it. Oh, oh, that, oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, mistakes have been made. Well, we've uh, lived up to the title. I need to stop. I need to stop. I should stop. I should stop. I should stop. Okay. Okay. We're done with the front part. We're done. I want to stop myself. I'm going to stop myself. I'm going to add some black to the sides because I just like the color black. You know, it was funny when I was younger, when I first started dressing like gothic and everything. My, uh, I took a nap after listening to, uh, a lot of Avril Lavigne, and, uh, I woke up to my father telling, seeing my black nail polish and telling me, this isn't us, and I said, uh, I'm me, uh, and everybody was telling me, it's just a phase, it's just a phase, well, screw you all, I'm 20 now, and I'm still stuck in the phase. <laughs> Really, I just never wanted to buy clothes, and yes, I still own clothes from when I was 13. I am not kidding. I still wear t-shirts from then. I don't know if this is entertaining, but hopefully it is. So this is what we've got so far. This is the front, and I'm just doing the black on the sides. So we've got majority of the sides black so far. Should I continue with it, or should I... I'll do some of the violent. Let's talk more about um, when I was first starting to dress gothic. Uh, that was around the time that, like, okay, being, well, I'm, that was around the time that I was really discovering that I, I was autistic and I was, like, really get, getting into it and starting to look into my mental health because I was, like, uh, intensely suffering, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> you just made me have to edit. I hate you. Come out and shut the door so I can at least keep recording while you're in the bathroom. Okay, we're back. My roommate just walked in. Doesn't want to be in the video, so yeah. Anyways, we're back. I've colored all the sides uh, black of this coffin. I tried to use some violet. I don't know if it came out violet or violent. Get this. Damn it, she like stole me. And you know, I... From the last video, if you watch it, there's like one view on it or something. But I have trouble keeping my train of thought and it's really annoying. But we're almost done painting this, so it's fine. We're almost done, almost done, almost done, almost done. The roommate's almost gonna come out of the bathroom, then I have to cut that out. And she's out of the bathroom. Yay, I have to edit, I hate editing. Enjoy the serene sounds of the faucet in the background. Let's meditate. 
I'm inhaling fumes of paint. So, from over here, what do you think of this? I decided to uh, color it, and I named the colors different things. Okay, so we have introduction of my roommate who is uh, no name. What would you like your name to be? Okay, her name is nothing. Uh, I didn't intend for it to be, but I guess it could be. But I renamed all of the colors because I didn't think that I liked the names. There's literally a color here called Hooker Green. I'm sorry. Like, it's actually named that on the bottle. <laughs> so once I saw the Hooker Green, I had to rename all of them. Okay, you have to go. Okay, you have to go nothing? Alright, bye nothing. Alright. That was my roommate. I'm gonna have to cut out all parts that she's actually in it, but yay, editing. This video is like 41 minutes long. I hate myself, but here's the little coffin that I have painted. Yeah, we're done now. So that's it. Autistic girl painting. I don't know why that's the thing because I'm pretty sure people <laughs> know that autistic people can paint, but um, I just was really hyper randomly, so I hope you enjoyed joining me for me failing at painting, using too much paint, wasting things, ruining paintbrushes, and, uh, rambling at myself and talking to, um, nothing. So, bye for now, and have a good or bad night, I don't know. Bye, I'm tired. I'm gonna go. How am I supposed to end this? I can't touch my screen. Ugh.